Count it pure joy, my brothers, when you face trials of various kinds, knowing that the testing of your faith develops perseverance, and perseverance must finish its perfect work in you so that you're mature and complete, lacking nothing. Hi, I'm Matt Filio. I'm working on this painting here of Moses, Aaron, and Her, and I just quoted a scripture verse to you out of the book of James, and the reason... I quoted that to you out of James chapter 1 as I'm going through a trial currently and I'm painting um, a depiction here of intercessory prayer. And we have Moses here um, on this rock and in this image here um, Aaron and Hur were helping him as he was trying to hold up his staff and as he would hold up the staff the Amalekites uh, would fall in battle to the Israelites. Of course, Moses and Aaron and her are Israelites, and they were trying to overcome the Amalekites in battle. And as his strength waned at the end of the day, he couldn't hold his staff. And that staff was a symbol of the power of God, and he was faltering. But Aaron and her held up that staff. And as they held up that staff, the, it records in the Bible that they, they prevailed in battle, and they were able to win that victory. Well, right now, I'm going through a trial. How about you? Are you going through a trial right now? I'm painting, and I'm going to just pour my heart and soul into this painting, this commissioned portrait. And just ask that the Lord would bless you through this painting, touch other lives through this painting, showing how when we're going through a struggle, we can help each other as we pray. We can lift up each other's burdens to the throne of grace and that God would come through for us and he would help us in all of our needs. God is not unsympathetic to our needs. He's a friend that sticks closer than a brother. He's near to the brokenhearted and contrite in spirit. So if you're going through a trial right now, maybe right now um, you know, you're on the verge of a divorce. I don't know, that just popped into my mind. Maybe right now you're in a health crisis. You're, you're dealing with cancer. Maybe your children are they ran away or they're just wayward from you you don't know how to get a hold of them and they have they want to have nothing to do with you maybe you lost your job or um, you even had a lost loved one somebody who just died and it's just tearing you apart that you can't be with them anymore whatever that trial is that great difficulty God has compassion on you God wants to lift you up out of it just cry out to him that's what I've been doing, and I've just been saying, Lord, I need you. I need you more than ever before. All right, so I'm going to show you here in this process as I paint. Uh, I'm just going to kind of begin to share this process with you, how I do my painting using the acrylic glazing technique. So, um, Lord, bless this painting. Help me to be able to do this with excellence for your glory. I pray that if anyone is discouraged right now, Lord, you'd encourage them through the finished work of Christ, through your promises, Lord, that you never leave us nor forsake us. Lord, I pray that you would encourage people right now in Jesus' name. Okay, um, I'm gonna dive right in. I'm gonna take some raw umber dark here and some ultramarine blue, and we're just going to begin to darken the values here. You can't appreciate, you can't appreciate the light until you have the dark. And so you have these areas in your life that seem like they're out of control and they're murky and they're muddy and God seems as far away as the east is from the west but it's actually not true he's actually right there with us in the middle of the trial we just can't perceive it and so here I am glazing this raw umber dark ultramarine blue on the back of Aaron and let's just dive in here a little bit closer and you can see the process So again, in the middle of darkness, light arises. Light arises in the darkness to the upright. Now, let's go ahead and let's darken this rock a little bit. Yeah, we're gonna darken this rock. And I don't know, I might even, I might even put a glaze or something over the whole thing just to really convey that essence just to convey that essence of light arising in the darkness. 
I've been kind of going over some of the paintings of Caravaggio and studying his technique and seeing how you know he did more of a sepia toned background a, a ground with a umber kind of look and then he would go on top with a light and then he'd glaze in the color and I, I think I want to do something like that very soon maybe I'll do that in this painting just kind of change my process a little bit But for now, I'm just going to darken these shadows of the rocks. But I really feel like, yeah, I could I could get this a little bit darker yet. And uh, maybe let's go into the sky. Let's go into the sky a little bit. So I shared that verse with you in the book of James. Count it pure joy, my brothers, when you face trials of various kinds. That just seems counterintuitive that you would actually be happy in the middle of trials but uh, this is what uh, it says in the Bible and we can rejoice that uh, it's producing something in us as Christians I don't know if you're a Christian or not but um, it God's Word is still true and it can produce something amazing in us as we you know overcome that challenge just like you can't have big muscles without some strength training without some resistance without your muscles being injured in a sense and made sore for a while so in the same way you really can't have that growth in life without some sense of suffering it's necessary so suffering is not in vain it's not for no reason and that gives us hope there's always hope in the Lord always hope in the Lord all right so I'm blending adding this ultramarine blue glaze to the clouds and just spreading this across spreading this across so we're gonna get that darker sense of the clouds you can't appreciate the light until we have the dark the Bible says Jesus is the light of the world we wouldn't appreciate his light unless there was darkness and we know that this world is full of darkness. There's all kinds of sin and depravity. You don't have to uh, really go that far or watch the news too much or even walk that far down your block to see that. More and more each day we recognize that fact. And the Bible says all have sinned and fall short of the glory of God. We're justified freely by His grace through the redemption that came through Christ Jesus. So we thank God for his mercy. And uh, we thank God that uh, he redeemed people through his finished work on the cross and his resurrection. He said it is finished on the cross. Well, there's a point in the painting where you can say it is finished when you put enough glazes on the canvas and we all want to get to that stage as artists but it takes time it takes work perseverance and a belief that you can overcome the difficulties have you ever had a painting where you had difficulties i think every artist has have you ever had time in your painting where you just thought i don't know how i'm going to be able to pull this out i have god's helped me to be able to overcome well, I would say it's not easy. Well, I'm putting some glazes here below Aaron. You can see what's going on here. I'll just zoom it in a bit. I'm just darkening some of these areas. Okay. So I'm probably going to probably going to do a glaze over the whole thing. And I think that's going to really uh, take this to a new level. So I think I will tone this canvas. I'm going to have to let this dry. I think I'm going to tone this canvas with a kind of a sienna or raw umber kind of a glaze of some sort. Um, and it'll allow me to pull the midtones and highlights out even more. So this is where we stand right now. I just want to share this process with you. Uh, I hope this video was interesting or encouraging. Um, again, if you're going through a trial or difficulty, God will get you through. I'm in the middle of one right now. 
<laughs> I wish I could say the light was really bright, but it's down in the distance. It's down the tunnel. I'm going to keep chasing after that. I'm keep chasing after God. Anyway, be blessed. Uh, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to this channel for more videos like this. Go to realisticacrylic.com. Check out my tutorials there, my free classes as well. Mattfilio.com, where I have more of my fine artwork here. Um, and this is my, my journey that I'd like to share with you. I hope it's encouraging. God bless you, and we'll talk to you soon.